In one of the previous videos, I have talked about cursors and how you can use a cursor to, you know, get data from the database. So if you remember, then we had created a cursor in which we called the get survey data method. If you go to survey db helper, you see this method to get the data from the database. Okay. And we simply query the database table and whatever data, you know, is fetched is populated to cursor. Now, once you have a cursor, then you need to iterate over it, right? So Android provides us uh, with four methods to iterate over a cursor, uh, like move to first, move to last, move to previous and move to next. And using one of these methods, you can query, like first step is you query the database and second step is iterate over the cursor and the cursor will once you are once you iterate then the cursor will keep going to the rows of the table i mean the rows of data that is fetched and for each row you can get the corresponding columns data so to demonstrate this i have added some code to the main activity class and you can you can refer to this code in github it's checked in so what i have done is so first step is you get the cursor and once you have the cursor you call move to first now this can be moved to next method also but since we don't have any data as of now and in future um, i'll be populating a sample row to demonstrate this so i've called the move to first method and then you get the corresponding columns from the database like cursor dot get string one and one is nothing but the name column which is retrieved uh, during this process and similarly you call to and once you have this data you can either display it to the user or keep it for some other purpose so this is the way you iterate over a cursor and uh, you know navigate through the rows of the database and get access to the data so I hope this uh, clarifies a cursor further and uh, you can refer to this code go ahead and add it yourself and maybe read a bit about it. Okay, thanks.